this the dick that females fight about this the dick that bitches be want to rumble for What's up, YouTube? It's my Rache, and I'm back with another video. If you don't know, I just did a video like two seconds ago. Um, for y'all, it probably was yesterday. Um, on my makeup updated, like my makeup routine, it's way better than the first time I did it, ain't it? It is. But yeah, go watch that video and I had a little talk with y'all, I guess. Comment how you felt about that. Um. This video, as you can see from the title below, is the story of how I lost my V-tar, my virginity. Um, and it's like, it's so crazy, cause I seen this video pop up on my YouTube, like, timeline. And I was like, I ain't never did that video. And it's getting like, close to my virginity anniversary. Is that a real thing? No. But mine is because mine was on July 4th, if you don't know. And July 4th is literally in two days. Because I'm making this video July 2nd at 4.50 p.m. So when y'all get this video, it's going to be July 4th. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. So where do I start? First, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. And then we just gonna, I guess we just gonna go and get into the video. Yeah, I did all the talking on the last video. Um, me losing my virginity was not planned. Um, I do have videos still on my Snapchat from that, um, day with me and my ex but i think it's best if i don't upload them because he got a girl and i'm not trying to just start no drama i honestly don't give a fuck about that relationship but i'm not gonna start no drama because my ex is we me and him cool but i'm so I'm, I'm gonna let them be happy i'm gonna let them be happy i'm not even gonna post him my Cause let's get into the video. So I lost my virginity. It was July fourth of um twenty nineteen. It couldn't have been twenty nineteen. It couldn't have been 2019. Hold on, let me check my Snapchat. It was July of 2018. Oh my God, that sounds so far. I'm sure it was 2018 because the hairstyle I had July 2018, that was the same hairstyle. I guess I deleted the videos or it's probably in my eyes only. It's probably in my eyes only, but I'm not uploading it, so we just gonna skip past it. So it was July 4, 2018, a long time ago. I was very young. Hold on, so if it was then, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm over here trying to get my age correct because I thought I was this age. I had to count back up. Okay, yeah, I lost my virginity when I was very young. I was 15 years old. It wasn't planned. For me, it wasn't planned. I don't know about him, cause you know how boys are. But for me, it was not planned. So, this was my first time ever going to a new house. And I actually asked for permission to go over there. And my mom, at the time, she was, my mom used to be very strict. 
But this was the time she basically was like, starting not to be strict. So now she's not strict at all. Like she's not really strict. Cause like me and my big sister, we grown now. And my other little sister, she's finna be grown. Everybody finna be grown. So she's not really, she's not strict at all. But like back then, before all of us was grown, she was a little strict. But then when we was kids, she was real strict. So around this time, she wasn't really strict as much. So I worked up the balls to ask her, um, hey, my boyfriend, his whole family is gonna be at his house July 4th. He want me to meet everybody, blah, 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 blah. So at the time, my mom was a nurse and she worked evening, she was evening and got off at night. And so she could have dropped, she dropped me off right before she went to work and she met them. The whole family wasn't there yet, but like the mom, dad, them, they was there. So it wasn't really like I didn't lie or anything like that. I just asked her, could I go over there? And she was like, yeah. And she wanted to meet them. So we went over there. Um, I'm getting out my mama. Um, what did she have? She had some type of truck at the time. It wasn't like a truck truck, but you know them, them mom vans, like, I don't know how to, I think it was a, Tahoe that she had and like I think my sister was in the back and she spoke to me and all that this and that I'm like come on let's go like let's go in the house because I don't like my mama meeting people because she be acting so bougie and everybody already think I'm bougie and my mom be like hi no 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 girl shut up <laughs> no, nobody want to hear that so yeah, they met or whatever. She was like, okay, cute little, cute little fella. My mom, she, she the type, she not gonna lie to me. She might call you cute to your face, but behind closed doors when she see me and she feel like you're ugly, she gonna let it be known. She gonna let it be known. And my ex, he not ugly at all. He's just black, <laughs> black as fuck. But he was not ugly. Like he had like his hair or whatever. I loved his hair. He ain't got no hair no more, but I love his hair. And so, yeah, he won't ugly. My mama, my mama stay talking about his skin color, but <laughs> my mama black too. So, let's not do that. But at the time, yeah, she was like, okay, cute little, cute little something. And all that, they met high and this and that. After that, she left and they barbecued, I think. Yeah, they did, because they was trying to get me to eat, and I ate, like, right before I came over there, because I didn't know they was going to barbecue or nothing, so I ate before I came, and, like, I make sure I eat before I go to other people's place, because I want to be like, dang, what y'all got in here to eat, and we ain't even like that yet, <laughs> so I got to make sure I eat before I go over there, because I ain't trying to be like, hmm, like, you just got here and you trying to eat up everything. No, so I ate before I went over there, and then I was real cute. I had my little wig on. I it wasn't a wig. I had a sewing closure, real cute. Fifteen years old, yeah. I had a sewing closure, and I didn't wear lashes at the time. I don't think, and yeah, I didn't have braces. I looked the same though, and I had my nails done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you know me, you know I don't get my nails beat. I get my nails beat like every blue moon. Like I don't get my nails beat. Look how long my nails are. My nails are real long. Because like I don't, I let them grow naturally and healthy. Cause nails, when I put nails on, they make my real nails real like, they don't be healthy. But yeah, anyways, I like nails and all, but you'll barely see them on me. But yeah, so we just woo the woo the woo. We chill. He tried to teach me to, how to play Fortnite. He let me die. He left me for dead. I died like the first five seconds of playing Fortnite. I didn't want to play no more. Cause how he just let me die like that? Um, we went outside, played volleyball with his family. They, <laughs> I know they, I know they thought I was bougie. Cause I had nails on, and I don't, I never played volleyball before. I don't really do sports, like I don't deal with sports. 
And they was like, come on, now you hit the ball, hit the ball, hit the ball, hit the ball. And I'm like, I'm gonna break my nail, man. Cause I tried to hit one time, my nail went like, I was like, it still was on though, but it felt like it broke. And he was like, oh my God. But yeah. And I was there all day, literally. Like my mom went to work in the evening, like probably like two, three in the evening. And I was there till like 12, one in the morning. I wasn't even supposed to be there that long. So fast forward, his family started coming in one by one, like house full of folks, like house full of folks. I'm meeting everybody, every single person. And if you know me, I got social anxiety. I hate meeting people. I don't like meeting new people. I don't like that. Like it just gives me anxiety. Because like when people meet me, I don't know, I said in the last video, we're well not the last one, but like the influencer talk, when people meet me, they judge me like right off back. Like, oh my God, you're so little, this and that. They trying to force some food down my throat, like literally. So I got, I got real social anxiety. Even before then, I had social anxiety when I was little. So I don't really like meeting new people. I don't, I don't like talking or none of that. Like I'm real chill, quiet to myself. So yeah, I had met everybody. And we was in his sister room. I made a couple TikToks. I think I made, I didn't make no TikToks with them. I made like videos with them. His brother, me and his brother was best friends. Oh my God, his brother's so fake. Oh my God. His brother is so fake. Like after we broke up, I didn't talk to his siblings no more. Cause I'm not that type. Like if we break up, I know you don't want me messing with your siblings. So I'm not gonna mess with them no more. But me and his brother, that was my, that was my boo right there. Like his brother was my boo, for real. Like, for real. Like I be missing him sometimes. I don't even miss the relationship. <laughs> I miss my relationship with his brother. I don't know, his brother is just so nice, like. Okay, anywho, <laughs> let's fast forward. So in the daytime, we did all that, like, they barbecue, we ate. I barely ate anything. I didn't want to throw their plate away because it's disrespectful. I made sure I ate everything. I don't care how long it took, I ate everything off that plate. And I think except one thing. I think except one thing. Yeah. So... It's nighttime now, we gonna fast forward. And <laughs> my God, it's July 4th. Oh my God, so did I lose my virginity July 4th or was it the 5th? Because my God, I left real late. I don't remember the exact time I left. I feel like it was like 12, one. It could have been like 10, 11, but I don't know for certain, but we went outside, they popped their little firecrackers and things like that. We was all lovey-dovey outside. You know, my love language is physical touch, so I always want to be near him, where he is. Like, he had to be right here and all that. And he stayed kissing on me and all that. So we was all real cute, mm-hmm. Real cute outside, looking at them pop their little firecrackers and all that, the fireworks. You know, like a perfect relationship should be. And the late relationship was so perfect before I lost my virginity. I just feel like relationships and sex and all that really just did be bad. I feel like I should have just stayed away from it. I, I, I was not studying niggas. I was not studying niggas. <laughs> I was not. But niggas be studying me. And I was like, why not? I used to be a player. Like I used to talk to everybody and I did not care. I didn't kiss them. I didn't hug them. But the conversation, if you want that, you can get that. Conversation ain't nothing. That's how I used to be, but then when I try relationship, I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm fooling with this until I got my heart broke. But yeah, so we was outside all lovey dovey. And it's getting late. And my mom, she already was at home for work from work. 
think she was she was sleeping when we pulled up there and she texted me and she was like you need to um I'm gone get ready come on um it's getting late you not spend the night <laughs> and i'm like okay 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 so i had to call my uncle to come pick me up and i told him i was like i'm gonna go i gotta go i gotta go home and so i called my uncle to come pick me up because i'm a good girl i don't really i never really got into nothing like in me going over there me losing my virginity was not the plan like mind you i tried to lose my virginity before this day but like going to his house this day that wasn't in my schedule that wasn't in the plan and so my uncle we went inside to get some popsicles or something and we was kissing or whatever he had me on the wall baby this man had me that man had me on the wall you know like in the movies when the white folks who bust in the house and have sex and they just like the man pick her up and like got her against the wall just all, all her kissing her going crazy that's how he had me on the wall mind y'all his parents are there like this is after all his family members left and like i said in the beginning we was in his sister room like I guess his room, you know how boys see us, they dirty. And I guess his room was, wasn't clean or something. Cause I remember his mom said like, um, she could have went in there, but this, then the third. In my head at the time, I didn't think about it. Like I'm like, oh, his room must be dirty. But I didn't think about what she said. She knew what she was doing, but go ahead. Um, <laughs> we was in his sister room and all that. Like we got, they got in the pool and everything in the daytime. I didn't get in the pool because of my y'all, I'm very insecure. Like, he was like, you can get in the pool. Like, you can put on some, some of these. Like, I think he asked me, I could put on one of his shorts or something. Where I could, like, change. And I'm just like, uh-uh, I'll watch you get in the pool. I'll watch them swim and get out or whatever. But I didn't swim. Because, like... <laughs> y'all, I think y'all think I be lying when I say I'm insecure because I got a pretty face, but like, yeah, it's bad. And so, I'm not even in a resting mode. And so, yeah, I didn't get in the pool, but yeah, we end up, my uncle was like, I'm pulling up, I'm gonna be outside. I'm like, he's gonna be outside. So that's when he we went in again after getting them some popsicles. We went in again and I went in a room to get in his sister room to get my stuff. <laughs> Is this story boring? Cause I ain't getting to it yet. Like it's really a short story, but I'm trying to stretch it. So we went in his sister room to get my belongings because I bought, I brought me my little, I got a backpack purses. I bought my little backpack purse. I was really, I was a little cute. I was a little cute. I'm just, I was just, I'm just real small, but yeah, I was real cute. I went in there and I got my own backpack purse and he come in there kissing on me. Like I'm sitting on the bed like, oh my God, I don't want to leave you. You know, the people with attachment problems and don't like being separated, like the separation and attachment in me, I'm just like, oh my God, like I don't want to leave. And he was like, I don't want you to leave. He listened to it. You know, like if you will watch us, like if you will watch us, this shit used to be so fucking, I ain't gonna say corny, but you know, like, the lovey-dovey shit like and we used to be dead ass serious like i don't want to leave you i don't want you to leave and people used to be like Ugh. but like we was real life cute at that time and so if y'all hear that ignore that but so yeah he started kissing on me or whatever and he was like um let's just do it real fast you know like a quickie it was like a quickie a fast a fast 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 quickie so he like and my y'all his sister door i don't think it closed i think at the time it was broke i don't think the door closed 
like you couldn't close or lock the door and his parents are in the house i think they was in the next room i don't know if it was the next room but i know they was in a room close and they wouldn't sleep for real i don't think they would sleep for real <laughs> i don't think they would sleep for real and i thought somebody was gonna walk in on us but he was just like come on this and it and i had on jeans i had on jeans like you know i wasn't coming over here for that i had on jeans and so i pulled my pants like i'm sitting like this on the bed and he like standing up in front of me and i was like oh my god i'm in my head like oh my gosh bitch like what you trying to do this on your sister bed in your parents house while they in their room while your sisters and brothers outside while anybody could walk in here like so much could go wrong with this but you know i'm like yellow Y'all know, I just wanted to know how it felt. <laughs> so, I um, pulled my pants down or whatever. And it was like missionary. And I was like, we gotta do this real fast. Like, just take my virginity real fast. And cause he knew I was a virgin. And I was like, here, like, let's just do this real quick. And let me see how it is. And he did it. It was like a little pressure, but it didn't hurt at all. Like the way people explain it, they be like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. Don't lose your virginity, that shit hurt. But it didn't hurt at all. It was just like pressure when he first put it in. But after that, I was like, okay, this feel okay. It don't feel bad. It did have me walking funny, but it didn't, it didn't hurt. It just was like pressure. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> okay. And... He just, I think he just trying to get a quick nut, if you ask me. Cause he nutted on my jeans, bro. Like, on my, on my jeans. And he wiped it. He wiped it up. And I was just like, that's how it feel? Like, that's what the hype about? That's what people go crazy over? Some dick? Like, what but like after i like that was just one one little quick time that was my just my first time so it's like oh my god why is shit so loud y'all can hear that and that's how i was like like this is what y'all go crazy over this dick like this the dick that females fight about this the dick that bitches be want to rumble for. Like it wasn't, it, I can't even say if it was good or bad. Cause like I didn't really experience nothing. It was a quickie, literally for a, literally like a minute, probably not even that. And I, sometimes I feel bad. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have lost it that way. But at this point, it's already fucking lost. As long as... It was on the 4th of July, bitch. So, <laughs> that's the only thing special about when I lost my shit. But, like... Yeah, and then, like, a month later... Realized he still talked to his ex. Cheating the whole bitch. Um, and we broke up. And I feel like if we didn't sometimes i feel like if we didn't have sex or whatever we didn't even have sex it was just like a little a little quick one so if we didn't do that i feel like he would have valued me way more because we went out like almost the whole year with no sex and everybody swear we was fucking and he was with me for damn near a year with no sex and he did not complain. He probably was fucking on something, but it wasn't me until then. And then, like a month later, we broke up. So, yeah. But my next, my second relationship after that one, oh yeah, we had six, six, like six, six, like almost three times a week type jump. Now that's some dick. Yeah, I was finna die over. I got jumped behind that dick. Like, if y'all wanna see that video, 
We got that story time of how I got jumped at Walmart. Go watch, go watch that video. But like that one right there, yeah. But me and my first relationship, we didn't have sex. Like we just did that little one two, and then like after that, I think. Oh, nobody know that tea. I don't know if I want to spill that tea. Nobody knows that. And I don't know if people from my city watch me on YouTube. But <laughs> it was another time. But it shouldn't have been another time. Like that shit. I don't even remember it. I don't even fully fucking remember it. But it was the day before. The day before Valentine's Day. The day before Valentine's Day, this nigga, this nigga be trying to get me on the holidays, but that time was crazy. Like I didn't, I didn't like it that time either. But it was a time, I guess. Um, yeah. But that's just a story of how I lost it. And after he came on my pants and wiped it up, and I got up or whatever. I felt, I felt like I walked funny when I went to the car. I felt like I was walking funny. And then my, I got in the car and my uncle was like, mm-hmm, that's your little boyfriend, puppy love, puppy love. I'm like, this ain't no fucking puppy love. I didn't say that, but I'm just like, y'all don't know him, y'all don't know him. Y'all barely know me. So how you gonna tell me what this is the whole time? I really don't think it was puppy love, but I don't know. I love hard, like, if I love you, I love you. I don't care how old I am. I'm still feel the same way when I'm 30. How I feel right now, I feel like I'm gonna feel the same way when I'm 30 about these same people. Like, mind you, I was 15. I'm 19 now. But yeah, that's really it. He picked my uncle picked me up and took me to my mom's house and. <laughs> The that night I called my boyfriend at the time, my boyfriend, which is my ex. I called him. I'm like, what if I'm pregnant? <laughs> Nigga, what if I'm pregnant? Like, you didn't use nothing. Me and my head knowing that he came on my pants. This nigga finished on my pants. And he like, no, I don't think I got nothing in you. And I'm like, are you sure? I oh, what if I'm pregnant? I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's how you know you too fucking young. I was too young to be knowing that shit. But it happened, so. I'm not saying I'm proud, but it happened. Phil, so, yeah. if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down below more videos y'all will want to see of me, and I'm gonna do that. I don't really be having video ideas though, but I am uploading these two after I edit it. I might upload that one a day early, so yeah, make sure y'all go look at that video if y'all want to see the video of me. It ain't a video of me getting jumped, but like me explaining it. You can go watch that video. Um, but yeah. Don't forget to tell your mom, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your grandma, your grandpa, your in laws, and everybody. Because I know you got people, and why not put them on Tanaya? Why not? But yeah, I look a fuck mess in both of these videos. I'm finna take me a bowl bath and lay the fuck down because I'm still sad. Yeah. I'm not rushing in, I'm out.